The away team for this weekend's Challenge Cup final will be the Cardiff Devils, so let's take a look at how they made it to the final, who's been their star players, and how they've got on against their opponents this Sunday. The Devils head into this week prior to Friday's game against the Panthers, top of the league with a record of 29 wins, 24 of which came in regulation, 23 losses and 4 defeats that came by way of overtime or penalty shots. They have scored 157 goals and conceded a league low 117, giving them a goal difference of plus 40, the best in the league. They begin this week having lost 3 of their last 5 games. With that being said, let's take a look at how the Devils made it through to the Cup Final. The Devils started out in Group B and qualified for the quarter-finals having finished second in the group. Their record from their eight games was six wins, five in regulation and two defeats. This began with three straight victories over the Storm, Steelers and Panthers before an 8-1 loss against the Steelers. They rebounded with a win before losing to the Panthers and going on to win their last two games against the Blades. Second place in the group meant that the Devils played the Dundee Stars in the quarter-finals, with the first leg played out in Dundee. This game saw Bounds record a shutout in a 3-0 victory which left the Devils in a strong position for the second leg. Ten minutes into the second leg and the Devils were 2-0 up, giving them a five-goal lead on aggregate, and when the score was made 4-1 a minute into the second period, the tie was effectively over. The goal scoring wasn't finished, however, and the Devils eventually won 7-6, giving them a 10-6 aggregate win. This set up a semi-final against the Belfast Giants the first leg this time played in Cardiff. The first two periods ended 2-2 after the Giants had twice equalised before the Devils opened up a 4-2 lead in the third. The Giants pulled one back but a short-handed goal from Joey Haddad meant that Cardiff would take a 5-3 lead into Belfast. In the second leg, the Giants took the lead early in the second period to bring them within one, but power play goals for the Devils in the second and third period sealed the tie, an empty netter making it 3-1 on the night and 8-4 on aggregate. Leading the way in goals for the Devils during their cut run has been Guillaume Doucette, who has found the back of the net 11 times during 12 appearances. Jake Morissette is behind him with 8 tallies, while Joey Haddad has 6. For assists, it's Joey Martin top with 13, ahead of Andrews Hotham and Lord, who are 2nd and 3rd with 12 and 11 respectively. Doucette has 8 helpers to go with his goals, which means he leads points with 19, with Hotham and Martin behind him, both with 16 total points. Three players have broke the 30 minute mark for penalties, with Trevor Hendricks leading on 34. Ben Bounds has made 10 appearances in the cup, and has a goals against average of 2.76, making 2 288 saves with a save percentage of 0.917. Mike Will has appeared four times for the Devils during their run and has a GAA of 5.48 and a save percentage of 0.842. Sunday's final will be the ninth meeting between Cardiff and Nottingham this year with the eighth coming on the Friday prior and here's how the Devils have fared in their first seven fixtures. Cardiff have three regulation wins, an overtime win, a pen shot win and have lost just twice, both in regulation. The Devils have won the last three meetings between the sides in regulation. During these games, the Devils have scored 18 times whilst conceding 16, taking 180 shots at a success rate of 10%, while the Panthers have got off 238 shots and the Devils have stopped 93.3% of them. Cardiff have had 23 power play opportunities and have scored four times, giving them a conversion rate of 17.4%, while they have put the Panthers on the man advantage 22 times and killed 18 of those for a penalty kill of 81.8%. The Devils have also allowed one short-handed goal. Whilst there is no major difference in penalty minutes, Cardiff are spending more time in the box with a total of 137 minutes to Nottingham's 120. Should the final go to penalty shots on Sunday, so far it's Cardiff with the advantage, having converted one of three while stopping all three of Nottingham's attempts. Doucette has been the leading goalscorer against the Panthers with four, while Hotham and Thomas Kirker have both scored three times. Martin is the standout leader for assists, having provided seven during the seven games, and this means he also leads on total points against the Panthers with seven, ahead of Doucette and Salters who have five. The injured Tyson Marsh leads for penalties with 37 minutes, just ahead of Hotham who has 36. In goal, Bounds has played in all seven meetings between the sides and has a goals against average of 2.13 and a save percentage of 0.937, having kept out 222 Nottingham attempts. That's just about everything there is to look at from the Devil's point of view. Thanks for watching and if you like this video, why not check out things from the Panthers side here or follow the link in the description. And why not subscribe to catch more stat and fact based EIHL and other sports videos in the future. Bye for now.